G'day guys and welcome to the Freo Newsroom. This week is the 22nd Len Hall Tribute Game for Anzac Round. The game is named after WA's last Gallipoli veteran and will honour all return and fallen Anzacs. Like every year, the pre-game ceremony will take place before the bounce, so make sure you're in your seats by 5.30pm. Earlier in the week, we took our cameras down to the rehearsal at the main stadium. Yeah, we've been supporting the Fremantle Dockers games for about six years now. The games is in memory of Len Hall, who was uh, the famous light horseman. Tonight, uh, the honour guard has been supplied by the West Australian University Regiment uh, with the CO, um, Lieutenant Colonel Natalie Wigg, who is the first female commanding officer of the West Australian U University Regiment. The Anzac Day is, is one of the most important days in Australia. It certainly is to me, uh, and it certainly is and should be for all Australians. It's important that the youth understand what Anzac Day is about, and also to, to understand that if we don't remember Anzac Day, where we go in the future could be a lot different. So Anzac Day is so important for us, historically. 99-year-old veteran John JJ Wade will be reading the ode as well. Also, he'll be joining nine other veterans at half-time for a lap around the boundary. Now, Gary, will we be attending the dawn service? I will, mate. I try and get down most years and I've been pretty good, so I'll, uh, I'll definitely be going this year. How about you? Yeah, I'll head down. We, uh, maybe we can get a coffee and go together. You'll definitely be there? Definitely. Committing to it on camera? Committing. Good. Now, Brad Hill's been at the club for only a short time now, but he's set to play his 100th game this weekend. Polar opposite of Stephen, but we've got vision here of how confident Hilly is playing a bit of basketball. Not bad. Not as bad as Hilly's shot of goal on the weekend. A senior player as he is now for Fremantle. Just must convert. Oh, it's the ugliest looking right. goal you've ever seen. <laughs> Stiff Hilly, but going back to basketball, since we've moved to Coburn, the courts have been a great time kill. The players saw our cameras and thought, righto, anyone who can sink one from half court, it's their shout for coffee. Not going so well, Gary. You're right, we almost ran out of tape. I think we were there for about 30 minutes. Dooman very close. Then Lukey Ryan steps up and says, watch this, boys. <laughs> oh, bang. Nails it. Have a look at that. Full of confidence, Lukey says, give me another one. He wants another shot, Gary. He wants another one. Look at him. So this is number LeBron two. James. Oh, bang. Two from two. Two. Fellas, two in a row. He thinks he's shooting like Steph Curry, so he goes for a third. Oh. And now he's back to work behind. Unfortunate, mate. Un un unlucky big Lukey. Great stuff, fellas. That's it for the Freo Newsroom. Remember, be in your seats by 5.30pm for the pre-game Anzac ceremony. I'll leave you now with this week's milestone man in the green room. See you next week for the Carlton Draft Derby.